what's up everybody my name is will i uh, just wanted to share a uh, experience that i had earlier this week which is an uh, unforgettable moment for sure but uh i've been going uh every day after work i've been taking a certain route i usually try to catch all the best cars around my neighborhood so you know i take that route accordingly i just like cars i like different kind of cars cars you don't see everywhere on the street and uh i did find uh, one of my neighbors that uh i had no idea they actually own a, a charger daytona uh, i seen it outside his house when i was on my way home from work one day and i had never actually seen one which you know kind of made me freeze for a little bit and be like is that really the car that i think it is sitting out there um so basically i really wanted to catch him outside so i could say hi to him and talk to him about his car but uh so basically the next day i didn't see him out there but i was like man i have to get closer to this car so as soon as i got home i you know i was like i have to take my car though so maybe he'll recognize the car at least uh, so I got to home, the, my car wouldn't start. The, uh, I, ever since I installed the stereo, I've been having battery issues. I guess I drained it too much. I need to charge it up or replace the battery. Not sure yet. Haven't had much time to look at it. So basically I have to jump. I have to, I didn't have any jumper cables. I have a little jumper box, but it wasn't charged. So it wouldn't jump my car. So I had to drive to AutoZone man i'm losing daylight the whole time and i and i knew i wanted to get pictures or videos if if he would let me i knew i wanted to be prepared at least to get something so i went to autozone got me some cables real quick came back jumped my car uh car started right up took it to his house drove into his driveway nervous i didn't know if i was gonna get kicked out or i mean i had never met the guy and uh, I left my car on, did not turn it off, didn't want, wanted to make it back home since I knew I had a battery issue. So if my car was in the front yard running the whole time, and this is like a huge, beautiful house. And I'm sitting in front of it, a Daytona is there. Uh, Daytomaso Pantera is sitting in the front. He has a, a Ford Galaxy out there. Just everything, man, it's like a, a dream home and a dream car so, you know this is crazy so i walked up to the front yard he uh right when i knocked on the door he opened the door and he's like welcome welcome you know come inside i'm cooking so you know he you know had me follow him to the kitchen but for a second there i was like does he think i'm somebody else that he's probably met before because he was the nicest guy ever and you know, sometimes you forget that car guys just, you know, you just get along, even if you never met, you know, everybody's friendly with each other, which is awesome. But Nick, uh, appreciate you letting me uh, see all your cars and you're the nicest dude ever, man. I appreciate it. But basically, you know, he gave me a tour of, of all his, uh, his uh, cars. He took me to his backyard and and he had even more cars a 67 charger uh he also had a um he also had a cavalli mangusta which i had never heard i believe it's uh all less than 300 in the world uh italian car but the cool thing is that it actually has a ford mustang cobra engine in it which is a small car for that huge engine it was pretty cool to see um he he also had a couple cars in his garage i mean everywhere you went he had cars and rare cars which was pretty cool uh you know so uh here's the videos of what i was able to take uh, let me know what y'all think let me know what's y'all's favorite car and you know so you know take a look and hang tight watch till the end because uh it gets better i left the best for last
Wow. I've never seen one of these either. If you look inside, it's got a console similar to yours. This thing has a lot of space in there. Oh yeah, it's, it's four bucket seats. Wow. You can open the door if you want. That's cool. Hey, check it out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I cannot believe that I'm in his backyard. The Daytona's owner. This guy has some awesome cars, man. This is the nicest guy ever, too. How cool is that? That's a cool charger. This is a dream home, dream backyard. How cool is that? He says only like 250 something of these built. I've never even heard of these. Pretty cool. Thank you. Okay. It's letting me pop the hood. How cool is that? This guy's freaking awesome. There's a freaking huge engine in this little car. 32 valve V8. Wow. Freaking awesome. Porsche. There's one of 13 Alphas imported to the North America. It's a 99 model. I wonder how much those weigh. Uh, your, your formula, formula, formula one engineer uh, designed the frame and stuff. One that got hit, uh, she got she got rear-ended, and, and it's got like a 90s Mustang fuel-injected engine in it. We just did 
did all the the brakes and suspension on it. Oh, okay, yeah. This is definitely one of the ones that I look at almost every day. I made it my route. Every this is definitely one of the ones that I look at almost every day. I made it my route every day. This just is, this, I was driving this regularly, but then uh, we had some brake issues that needed addressed. I got a, a windshield seal that's leaking. That's why I had this thing on there. Oh, okay. This collection is insane. I never thought I would be able to fuel them or at least get close to any of these cars really at all. Insane. So I drove my, got to work. I mean, it got home from work. My car has been having battery issues because I, I haven't been charging it since I installed my stereo. And I, I went, didn't have any jumper cable, went to AutoZone, jumped my car real quick, and brought it over here. The nicest guy ever, bro. Oh, awesome. Whoa. I know I've seen him driving this one around. I'm glad I finally got to meet him. The Tommaso Pantera. This thing is cool. Look how low this thing is. How low it is. Look at that airplane here pop out the back. Look at those tires. Wow. I believe I'm actually this close to these kind of cars. You got a 355, 30, 19. 355 on the rear of these cars. Wow. How cool is this? Check those out. I said this car is set up for racing. He has an awesome collection. Oh, <laughs> wow, that's a lot of space. That thing is huge. This car is all engine. <laughs> Fuel cell, so it normally wouldn't have that. It would be a little bit of space there too. It's like a trunk. Yeah. Wow, on top of the charger. This is definitely one of my dream cars. They're so rare. I never thought I would see one, get this close to one. It is awesome. This is something you just don't see every day. That's what I love about it. All I'm saying is, look how clean the interior is. Wow. So clean. Look at those hood fans. How cool is this thing? How freaking amazing is this thing? Wow. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. This thing is so awesome. Look at that. This thing is freaking cool. See the difference on the rear window? There's a lot of differences from the regular charger to a Daytona. The fin obviously being, the tail wing being, obviously being the biggest difference. But how cool is that wing? A lot of people that don't know much about these don't like them much, but I love this thing. You know, Dodge was so crazy back then. They put this car out to beat everybody else out and put this, Big old wing on there. 
freaking amazing functional wing as well. You can adjust the top end there with these uh, Allen bolts there. How freaking cool is this? Amazing. Unbelievable. I, w I could stare at this all day. I'll never forget. I probably won't ever own one because they are very expensive. But how cool is this thing? All right, I'm walking back to my car right now. I'm still a little speechless. I can't believe that I actually got to see all these cars. So what y'all think? Pretty awesome, huh? Uh, I, these are cars I never thought I would get on my YouTube channel. I never thought I would actually get to see up close and personal cars I just see on the internet, really, which is awesome. But uh, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. Um, appreciate y'all watching one more thing that I did forget to say uh, once I was done filming my my car did die as soon as I put it on reverse so I was sitting in his front of his house with my car not starting at all so a shout out to my wife for you know coming to give me a jump and she had no idea why I was in a stranger's front yard or anything she just said that she's seen uh, a lot of cars in the front yard and she she kind of realized oh yeah he must just be following the cars but thank you and uh <laughs> appreciate you giving me a jump